Hello and welcome to Ellie's Kitchen. Today we're going to have some great things to cook. We're going to have some homemade mashed potatoes from scratch and we're going to have meatloaf with my favorite barbecue sauce and turkey bacon on the top. How you guys doing today? How was your day? I hope that you guys are rejuvenated and ready to cook this meal with me. Because it's really quick, you guys already know, simple meals, but delicious meals, I'm your girl. So the meatloaf that I am making is turkey meatloaf. Okay, I guess you can say, do she ever cook beef? I do, but not as often, but I do. So you're going to need one egg, one large egg. One tablespoon of puree garlic. A fourth a cup of oatmeal. And that's just to keep it together. That's just to bind it up. Some dried parsley. A generous amount. And a package of onion soup mix. That onion soup mix just makes it pop, baby. I can get the bag open. <laughs> it got wet. There we go. And we're going to give that a stir. It's two small packages of ground turkey. It's not really big. Not many people eating today. My daughter and my grandson won't be here. So I said I'm going to scale down. But if she finds out I'm making meatloaf, she may make her journey over here. <laughs> Now that Lipton onion soup mix has enough sodium. You don't have to add any sodium, any kosher salt or anything like that. That's up to you. But I don't like to because I don't want it to be overpowered with salt. And then we're going to have that turkey bacon and everything. So then in this reserve pan, we're going to take some red pepper and some onion. And we're going to saute them. show you what I'm doing in a minute. We're going to let that grease get hot. And show you that our ground turkey is mixed all the way up. I can smell that Lipton onion soup mix and it only takes one package and that puree garlic. You already know garlic was a part of the plan. I don't even know why y'all surprised. I really love to add green pepper, but I didn't have any green pepper, so I said red pepper would do. I didn't think it was necessary to go out to the store just for a green pepper because then I wound up spending more than what I in intended to spend. I'll be coming out of there with like $150 worth of groceries just for a green pepper. And then probably still forget that I had the green pepper. And then have everything else and not the green pepper. So anyway, that's why I said, well, red pepper will do. Today is going to be one of those days that pepper is a pepper. So I have one white diced onion really fine. And as soon as this grease get hot... We're going to saute it, and then we're going to add that to the mixture. But we're going to season the peppers and the onions. So that's going to kick it up another notch. I hear a little sizzle, but it's not quite ready. All 
right, let's start adding those peppers and onions. And I cooked one whole, one whole small white onion and one whole red pepper. I just want to rinse my hands off. And you can just see how fine I diced it up. Alright. So we're going to add our seasons. Onion powder. garlic powder and kosher salt. Take it really easy with that kosher salt. Just enough. This is just to give those vegetables some flavor. But that onion soup mix has enough sodium. So we don't want it to be too salty. We want to enjoy everything. But not enough season or too much season. Either way, that's really bad. So I'm going to come back when these vegetables are sautéed. And I'm going to take you to the next step. Alright guys. So our onions and our peppers is cooked to perfection. Look at that. So we're just going to add that to our ground turkey. because it's going to cook some more once we bake our meatloaf. Okay. It's going to cook some more so we don't need to cook it till it's really well done or fried hard. Just enough to sweat it. Give it some flavor, season it, and sweat it a little bit and take it out because it's going to continue to cook once we put our meatloaf in the oven. going to mix our meatloaf together. I really wish I would have had some green peppers for some color, but that's okay. It's quite alright. Still going to be delicious. The rest of the remaining onion and pepper. And I'm not the best at forming a loaf. There's no right or wrong way. I'm going to try my best to get it as pretty as possible for you guys. Wash my hands, get my hands a whirl, wash my hands off. Okay. Now you just get your favorite barbecue sauce. 
and you just add it to the top. Okay. Remember, this is all about opinion. Can't go by what I like. And this is a fourth of a cup. That's why I said get your favorite. Get your favorite barbecue sauce. I've seen some people do it with ketchup. But I'm doing it with barbecue sauce. It's just time for that turkey bacon to just go on top. Nothing fancy. Just to go on top of there. And that's it. And I'm going to sit that to the side. I'm not going to Put it in the oven right yet. So I'm just sit it to the side. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. He always busting on me. That's my youngest grandson. No respect. So we're gonna come back and we're gonna start our mashed potatoes, guys. All right. So now it's time for us to start our mashed potatoes. These are five little guys. They're not really big potatoes. And I thought that was going to be enough. But, um, I thought it would be enough. I thought it would be enough, but I guess it won't be enough. So, when things are not enough, I always buy, like, instant mashed potatoes and stuff like that. So I'm going to make it stretch with that. So we're just going to cut these down so it doesn't take that long to boil. That's the, the key to it. It's cutting your potatoes down really tiny. And then we're just going to start this. It really doesn't take long for meatloaf to cook, especially when the oven is pre- Heat it at 350 degrees so it doesn't take long. So I decided that I was going to start the potatoes first and just let that sit for like maybe 10 minutes and then I can just put it in the oven. I'm just going to give the potatoes a head start. And it doesn't have to be totally clean, clean, clean because I like the skin, but these are like russet potatoes. So don't really want to cook it with the skin on, but I don't mind some skin. I like the skin, so to me it's not necessary that it has to be really clean, clean, clean with all, all the skin off. Okay. They're already washed off and ready to go. Put it in a pot. And we're cooking mashed potatoes. That's it. That's all. We already have it rinsed off. We got our meatloaf to the side, so this is good to go. About 15 more minutes, then we can put that meatloaf in the oven. That's going to be some good meatloaf. Good, good meatloaf. I cannot wait. All right, guys. I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I'm going to prepare these mashed potatoes. And then cheat <laughs> and add some instant to it because my daughter and my grandson came. So... I have to get some extra. I didn't feel like pulling potatoes. Easy way. Easy meals. That's me. Now our potatoes is out of the oven. I mean, I'm sorry, out of the pot and it's strained. And I'm getting ready to get started. 
I don't really do too much to my mashed potatoes. I just put some, of course, parsley. Not because it has a taste, but because of the color and it looks pretty. Onion powder. A little black pepper. I'm going to get some milk and some butter and some sour cream and that's it. I'm going to get the mash. I may not have to add that extra instant mashed potatoes. This may just be enough. My family, we're not really big eaters. We love good tasting food, but we don't sit here and just gorge. So, this just may be enough. Sour cream. Use the last of the last before I go opening another one. Here we go. This is like a good two tablespoons of sour cream. my hands. And the milk that I use, I use evaporated milk. We keep it in a, a water bottle instead of in a can because that can get botulism. And it's not good to sit cans in refrigerators open. It's better to put it in a reserve bottle or some type of container. And we want to get the mash in these potatoes. I have to take on that meatloaf too. You want to know what I did before I put the meatloaf in the oven? I sprinkled a little bit of brown sugar on that turkey bacon. Just a tad bit. Can hardly tell. That black pepper always get me to sneezing. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Anytime I add that black pepper, that's what happens. I get to sneezing. It's a good thing I'm not in public. With this coronavirus, if you call for sneeze in public, people are like, <laughs> what does she have? <laughs> I just have allergies. And because it is not a lot of mashed potatoes like I thought it would be. I think I just may. I don't know. I'm still debating whether I should add that instant because I would hate the waste and I don't really need it. And we don't eat it. 
I like for all the food to go in the same day. I think we should be fine. I don't know. I keep going back and forth in my head. Let's check that meat loaf. Done. I want you guys to see what it looks like so far. I just sprinkled some brown sugar on the top of the turkey bacon and added a tiny bit of water to the pan so the meat, the meatloaf won't be dry. Can you see that? Can you see? So that turkey bacon looked like it was sliding. I'm just going to adjust it right back in the center. And put it right back in. We don't have much longer, I'll tell you that much. We just got to get this center done. And we'll be ready. Guys, all right. Look at these mashed potatoes. I want to show you what it looks like. And that's two tablespoons of sour cream. Pepper, kosher salt, butter, evaporated milk. I don't know, for whatever reason, I like to use that. Other than the whole milk. I use that. Mm. Come on, meatloaf. Come on, meatloaf. Alright, guys, we got about a, a good 10 minutes for that meatloaf. And then we'll be ready to pan up our dinner. Alright guys. That meatloaf is looking pretty. And it's out of the oven. Look at that. See that? It's time to cut this baby up. I'm going to cut it up, guys. Still sizzling and bubbling up. That's okay. All right. It's time to, I'm going to go from the back in. Make sure I get a piece of that turkey bacon. I just threw some spinach on real quick because spinach takes no time. It's nothing but water. And it cooks all down. Alright guys. Let's give that meatloaf a try. I was talking about I wished I had green peppers for color. But look. That red pepper is popping right out through that meatloaf. You see that? Can you see it? You see those red peppers? It was needed, but it wasn't needed. Alright, let's give this a try. That's right, I gotta pray over this food. Even if it's just to say thank you, God. I'm 
proud of myself. That turkey bacon with that brown sugar over top of that turkey bacon, that barbecue sauce. What can I say? <clears throat> I did it again. And this is a moist meatloaf. Nothing dry. I hate dry meatloaf. Can't stand it. I'm gonna scoop it up with that potato. Well, guys, you've seen it for yourself. Turkey meatloaf with turkey bacon. It is the most delicious, delicious meatloaf you would ever want to try. Get your favorite barbecue sauce. That Lipton onion soup mix in the mixture. And then you still saute and sweat onions and peppers. And red peppers, that is. And then you put your turkey bacon on. Your barbecue sauce and then your turkey bacon. And then brown sugar over the turkey bacon. Come on, y'all already know. And then these mashed potatoes with the sour cream and all the seasonings, and garlic. Another easy meal, another delicious easy meal coming out of Ellie's Kitchen, guys. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you guys for your views. Thank you guys for your subscription. You guys mean a lot to me. You guys know I love you guys. But you guys also know I got to roll because I got a good plate waiting on me. And I'm not going to let it get cold. Until I see you next time, love you guys. Be blessed.